this is Naomi GP you're watching the undercurrent and if you are watching this video it's probably because you saw my social media post regarding my update as a Haitian athlete and want to know more about the road to Tokyo project the rest of this video will show you the work I've been doing to promote the road to Tokyo project but before we dive into that, I want to take the time to explain to you what the Road to Tokyo Project is. So the Road to Tokyo Project is a united fundraising effort between the Haitian Swimming Federation, Sons and Daughters of Haiti 501c3, a group of diaspora volunteers, and myself all working together to support the Haitian athletes trying to compete at these 2020 Olympic Games. We want to ensure that we showcase Haitian excellence for the world to see, and in order to accomplish that, we need your help and your support. Good morning. Good morning. I'm currently at Whitfield Academy where we have a crazy day planned. We are starting the morning at Westminster here in Atlanta, Georgia. I will be speaking at the middle school and a high school Black History Month Chapel. I'm giving a presentation to the lower school about my involvement at the 2016 Olympic Games and how I am currently working to progress swimming in Haiti. So I am about to present to the lower school, but I need to review my notes. So I'm gonna do that really quickly. All right. My name is Naomi Hope Grampier. I am 22 years old and I am an Olympic athlete. My name is Naomi Grampier. I am 22 years old and I am an Olympic athlete. I'm Naomi Grampier. I'm 21 years old. I was born in Montreal, Canada to Haitian parents and we immigrated to the United States in 1998. I've been swimming for 13 years now and at the 2016 Olympic Games in Rio, Brazil, I competed in the 50 meter freestyle where I became the first female to ever represent Haiti at the Olympic Games. <laughs> I graduated Whitfield in 2015, so I know what it's like to be sitting in chapel and doing the Thursday thing. All right, so I just finished the presentation. It went super well, um, so very happy with how I did. So now, back to my car. We are going to meet up with my photographer, and then we are going to meet up with my makeup artist, and we are going to continue with our day. And it's nice and sunny outside, so this is gonna... So what you don't want to ever do because you're oily is put highlighter on your nose. Thank you for telling me that. You're welcome do that. that. No, stop. I'm gonna... <laughs> today, it's learned. Usually they don't like, you know, photographers going over there and taking photos. We'll be going just... Finesse? Shoot it. All right. You know? And ask for forgiveness after. Yes, that's correct. Great philosophy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay. All right. So. Yes, talk I to me. Now. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut here. <laughs> you don't give away the secrets? <laughs> exactly. All right, then. Let's do it. Now I'm just having fun.
This right here is the Haiti Coat of Arms Jacket by Caribbean Apparel. Its embroidered design elegantly showcases pride for Haiti Sherry. Slayed by me, Naomi GP, and available for you too at CaribbeanApparel.net. Use discount code ROAD TO TOKYO to support the Haitian national swim team.